Hey, booktube. So, today is going to be a wrap-up of the Books in the Freezer Readathon. Uh, I apologize that there is no week two blog for it. I did record some bits. Uh, I actually recorded two bits, and I was going to throw in uh, some, some clips of some other stuff uh, from the week. But... Uh, yeah, I just had some issues putting it together yesterday. One one of the videos ended up sideways uh, after my phone had freaked out, uh, not recognizing my SIM card. Um, and then when I was trying to put it together, I couldn't get my editing software, wouldn't uh, rotate the image so that it was the right way. I could get myself flipped around. I could get myself upside down, but I couldn't get it the right way. I put, I'm shaking a little bit because I have this propped up on my lap, my laptop. My, I have my tripod set up on top of the screen of the laptop, and my legs are shaking. Uh, the laptop. Let me see if I can stabilize this a bit better. So, so that is what happened with that. Um, I put tried to put it all together last night so that I could upload it. And have it to you uh, today as I'm filming this. And uh, that did not happen. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, so, the readathon. Uh, I ended up completing four of the five challenges, finishing two of my three books. Uh, I finished Frankenstein. I ended up finishing that on audio. Um, I found it was an abridged version, which I know is like audio blasphemy. But uh, it was an abridged version read by Kenneth Branagh. So that really uh, appealed to me. Um, so I listened to that and finished Frankenstein that way. Um, and I, it was okay for me. Um, Mary Shelley's writing was beautiful. But I just, even in the abridged version, there were, there were long segments where I just got bored. So uh, I ended up giving it four out of five stars on Goodreads, but I gave it an extra star because of its impact on horror and what it has it has done for horror as a genre and it and its and its status in horror. I gave it the extra star because of its lasting effect uh, to horror. Um, and then I also finished uh, the Corn Maiden and Other Nightmares on audiobook. Um, so the Corn Maiden novella that's part of that was really good. I really enjoyed that. However, I do feel like it should have ended a little bit before it did. Um, you know, the culminating event and I feel like it could have ended there and, but then it went into this epilogue and wrapped up some of the other characters which I get some people need fine I didn't need that it could have ended right at the culmination and I almost think it would have been better um but that's just my opinion um the other stories that were in it were good but I honestly thinking back on them now I really don't remember them that well and it's only like a week and a half ago so I enjoyed them while I was reading slash listening to them, but they didn't have a lasting effect on me. Um, Joyce Carol Oates is a great writer, though. I do really enjoy her writing, and I definitely want to read more from her, which is good because I have a lot more to read from her. So I ended up not finishing uh, My Soul to Keep by Tanana Review, which was the book for the uh, LGBTQIA plus author or character uh, challenge. Uh, uh, LGBTQIA plus uh, or person of color because I was doing person of color um, I'm still going to finish reading it uh, at some point but I'm going to do it at my own pace I have some other things I'm working on right now uh, which I'm going to do another video um, of what I'm currently reading and um, and books I've books I've gotten in so there'll be another another video real soon uh, with, with that, I may try to record it today, uh, or I might record it tomorrow. Probably hoping to have this, uh, I hope, I'm hoping this is Sunday, 
uh, if you're watching this when it went when this goes up, so this, this is Sunday, October 21st, because um, it's the 20th when I'm recording it, and I mentioned on Twitter that I have to upload things overnight because uploading tanks my internet. Um, it just makes everything run slower, and we don't use cable. We use we we've cut the cord, so all of our TV watching and stuff is over the internet. Uh, so if I have an upload slowing things down, it makes it makes you you know using the laptops just for general web browsing or uh, or watching TV uh, difficult. So. Uh, I have to upload things overnight or when I am, or just before I leave for work and we're both gone for the day. Um, so, hopefully, uh, I'm kind of waiting. I have a couple orders that are coming in. I, ha I have a book that I ordered coming in today and I have a book that I ordered coming in tomorrow. So, I kind of want to wait till those come in and get everything in that video. Uh, so, you see what I'm reading and what I've gotten in. Uh, and hopefully that will go up on Monday. The problem with me uploading overnight too is sometimes I just I just get up and I go to bed and I forget to set up the upload. So um, it's it's weird. I, I don't get it when when I had internet and cable, I could upload anytime. Didn't affect anything. Since I canceled the cable portion and just use the internet, an upload tanks my internet. I don't get it. Um, but, and I, I, I could switch to a different service provider that offers greater speeds, but that service provider is a nightmare in customer service. So I kind of accept the slower speeds for the better customer service if I, if I have an issue. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, anyway. That's my books in the freezer readathon wrap up. I apologize again that I don't have the vlog. It just it didn't work out. But like I said, I'm gonna do a video to kind of catch you up to where I am right now with what I'm reading and what I've gotten in, and then I think I'm gonna go back to vlog style recording, um, and and try to do weekly vlogs again. Um, it just it's more conducive, I think, to my life because um, I can. I can, what I had done with the Books in the Freezer uh, vlog that you didn't get to see. Um, I recorded, would record like a little bit, like a few little thoughts before I got out of my car to walk to my work building. You know, it just, that that's, that seemed to work for me. So, um, the other thing, and I, I mentioned this in, again, in the vlog that you don't get to see, um, that corn maiden did for me I, I just i just remembered to hit this um it made me realize how i'm gonna go forth with reviewing uh anthologies it gave me a great I, I ended up with an idea for that and i think i'm gonna try it with um i got piles of books right next to me oh i got piles of books next to me anywhere um that's not the one uh I'm going to try it with Fright into Flight. Uh, this is a book I got from Word Horde for review. Um, this is an anthology of all women uh, horror authors. Uh, all, all with stories all based around flight. Um, I'm going to, when I, when I read a story, I'm going to record my thoughts on it. I'm going to vlog my thoughts on it. I'm going to review, I'm going to try to review the anthology vlog style. So you get my thoughts on each story in the book. Um, and we'll see how that goes. See if you guys like it. Um, and see how it goes for me in, in, in reviewing it. Because I don't want I don't want to just read all of them and then try to remember the ones I liked and just and then just talk about the ones I liked. I want to give each author uh, attention. I want to give each story attention. Um, so I, I think that might be a good way to do it. And, and if it works out, I'm going to review other anthologies that I have in the same fashion. So, um, but that is it for uh, this video. It actually is a little bit longer than I planned on it because uh, I ramble. Um, but uh, 
Thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you want to come back for more. And if you do want to come back for more, hit the subscribe button so you know when I post new videos. And I'll see you all in the next one.